Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is Friday, September 8th, 2023. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report and the YouTube channel. Okay, we got a lot to show you guys, get you caught up with our um, subscribers to our newsletter. Okay, uh, we're looking at the queues. We haven't looked at those in a while. Okay, from that uh, July 19th high, we have wave one down. We have an ABC up for wave two, which hit right on the 786 retracement. While we're here, let's check out that wave C as it relates to wave A. There's A down, there's B up, and that's right on the near the 1.272 extension. Nice Fibonacci number there. And then you can see, I want to undo that because I undid the other one. Okay, let's do this. And so there's one down, there's two up. So the wave three targets for the Qs are right here. We've got a one-to-one -one relationship for wave three at 347.54, a 1.272 at 338.51, a 1.414 at 333.50, Point eighty and a 1.618 at 327.03. Okay, that's the cues. I want to get you guys uh, caught up here. What do we want to start with here? Let's start with the post market close from yesterday. Went out to our monthly subscribers. You can see wave three down continues to develop. Interesting thing is the uh, Fibonacci time. Within one day of perfection for wave one down, within one wave of perfection on wave two up, you can see the beginning of wave three with a circle down, and there's the first wave there, subdivides obviously into five waves. We've got more exciting stuff to show you guys. I want to just uh, jump to the exciting stuff. Put out a Fibonacci time spiral report yesterday. Everybody seems to like those, and they seem to work out well over the last 25 years, to be honest. Okay, so let's get right to it. Fibonacci time spiral. Uh, I can show you guys that chart bigger. But uh, from the B wave high, our turn dates from that B wave high, you can see it caught that high, that high, that high, that low, and that high. Next turn date in the sequence is September 20th. There's the wave three targets from the wave two high on September 1st. So uh, that would be pretty close to 21 days. These are all off by uh, one or two days, a slippage there, if you will, plus or minus one or two days. I think we have that uh, right here. There's the, uh, the new FIB spiral chart. See the slippage there, minus one day, plus one day, plus one day, plus two days. So right around 920, okay? Um, the first plus 21 days is 922. We'll see the slippage. Uh, continues within one or two days okay so that's our uh, Fibonacci time spiral that works out uh, pretty good and let's go to the uh, post market close from yesterday again there's where wave one was a perfect um, within one day of uh, 21 Fibonacci days and wave two up was was within one day of a perfect 13 Fibonacci days. Again, there is that sequence, and again, we'll watch that play out. One thing I want to note to you guys, I'll get to uh, this morning's report, the um, pre-market open. There it is. Okay, and I wanted to show our uh, subscribers here that uh, I use TradingView for the charts. I like TradingView. And uh, today, TradingView switched uh, to the December contract. Okay, so there's a big difference. A continuous monthly and the December. It looks like there's a 50-point gap, but there's not. Okay, that's just a switch over in contracts. Happens three times a year. Most traders, uh, the, the contract expires next week, but a lot of the traders, and obviously TradingView switches over earlier, because of the lack of volume in the expiring contract, okay? So we're going uh, from the September to the December. You can see in the December contract, uh, this was put out this morning, uh, 7.13 Eastern, hadn't quite gotten to the 3.82 yet, whereas 
the continuous monthly contract shows almost a 786 retracement. So just wanted to point that out to you guys. Again, there's that FIB sequence. And I gave the targets for both of these retracements, depending if people are trading the December or the September contract. But again, most people switch out before it expires because you get up to the expiration date and there's no liquidity or there's little liquidity. Okay, so let's get, uh, that was the cues. Let's get into, I think I've got these, yeah, on a split screen. There again is the uh, continuous and there's the De December contract there. You can see again, the 786. This is live, by the way. It's just a little bit short of 11 a.m. Eastern. You can see that has gained the 382 and that has gained the 786. So you can see the difference in the numbers, about 50 points. There's 4597, 4547. This is an hourly chart. Okay, I think we have the same on a 10 minute chart. Yeah, it's the same. And you can see right there, and we had that wave three target down there, which fell between the 1618 and the 2618. That uh, wave three right there, we were talking about a couple of days ago. There's that there. So let's get back to the hourly. I think that shows a little better. That's where we are. We've got uh, from this two of the circle on it, the 91 September 1st high, we've got five waves down for wave one with the princes in the process of wave two up. There are the targets. I like looking at the D contract. So uh, it's just sitting on the 382. So that's where it is. We'll see where this plays out and we'll see how that uh, time spiral plays out. And let's get that uh, right there. Okay. That's where it's hitting. Yet another spiral that looks like it's going to serve us pretty well, just like a lot of them have since 1997. Okay. Thank you guys. Uh, have a great weekend. Until next time, take care, everyone.